Hello and welcome back to our survival let's play on Norman's Land for episode 116. Today we've got quite a lot of little jobs to do. We've also got a massive field to turn around um, and a bit of waiting to do. But there's things like, um, I can't even talk, it must be that one over there. The chicken coopers ran out of food. Um, we still didn't take milk up to the production site which is what we're going to do very shortly but I picked up all the straw from our oat field that we harvested yesterday the, the massive one that eventually is going to be turned into the olive grove um, we've put a lot of the straw into into the manure factory however there was a couple of loads full that we brought here instead so that's just sort of been chugging away. The sugar beets all out. Um, I'll have to see where we are with the grass. I don't. The grass won't be ready this this month, is it? it? Must be ready next month. We'll go and check it, but I don't think it's ready this month. I need to get this shifted. That's why I got this um, emptied this first because I need the truck. So I need the tanker for the milk. Um, right, this is difficult the way this is now. It's not just a normal drive straight in and out. I think I'm going to have to put a road round, round um, the back, or in between the cows and the chickens there. Oh man, that's a stupid camera angle. So yeah, a road's going to have to come out of there, I think, just so I can drive that straight in and out. Um, let's get around here. I know the truck is around here. There it is. There's things like the um, making sure the animals are well fed. I'm gonna have to maybe get done this episode as well. Just because we need all the eggs and milk we can get and we've let one of the shipping coops completely run down which is no good I'll just leave this wagon, I uh, this trailer here and we'll back up and get the tank going and we'll be able to get that full with milk. I say full with milk, it won't go anywhere near. I checked just before we come on, we've got just over 7,000 litres of it, so... I can't remember exactly when the new cows will start producing. So we bought calves. Is it possibly six months when they'll start producing? Right, where do I get the milk from? Sure, it's around here somewhere. Do I have to try the other side, maybe? Try backing in from the other way. I think I had trouble on. Did I have trouble on this map before? Or might have been on a test map actually that I was on, where I couldn't get it because this was the wrong way around. Hmm. Well, this is concerning. Is it just because it? Right. This isn't good. Give us two seconds. I'm going to find out what's going on. So basically, it was as easy as I was in the right place. It just didn't bring up a. Um, it didn't bring up the option to fill. So as soon as I put the um, the help menu on, it said start filling straight away. So as easy as that. Do you know what, I could have got this up to 8,000 litres as well. The other, the closed pasture, that actually has 810 litres in. Um, that's the one I was on about before, whether they'll start producing after six months or not. Because I need both to be um, producing as much as we can really. 
Yeah, this field we need to turn around. Get sorted. Right, let's see who wants what. I'm not going to start emptying it until... Right, missing materials for cake. They've got milk, though. They don't have flour. They never... It, it's so annoying what this does, you know. You can't keep it going with flour. Because it'll just spit it straight back out as soon as it goes over a thousand. Um... Right, so that's running again. Good. This will probably be missing milk. This is missing a lot. Oh my god. I'm not getting all the... Uh... We need to bring everything up to here. What are these missing? They've got milk. They've got eggs. They've got flour. They've got sugar. They need butter. And we're now not producing it because we haven't got... Anything? Oh. What have I got here? Loads of flour. And she'll just keep popping up. Smart olive oil. I could probably just sell again because the price is probably going to be really high still. Because we're still in June. There is stuff we do in Excel, we need to sell them plants today. Soybeans, we need oats. Oz of water, we need. Where's the thing for that? Ah, it's water we've run out of. We've still got enough oats, we've still got enough soybeans. So we need water and milk. Um, so that's easy enough. That is really easy. We'll put some milk in here. Um, say 4,000 litres of it, maybe. And then we'll put the rest in here. Okay, look, so now they're producing butter again. I've got the water point here, which is where we'll start filling. However, there's no way I'm going to let you sit through this filling up because. It would probably be quicker. I'm not kidding, it'll probably be quicker me driving all the way back down to fill up at the farm than it would be here. So we'll go off, we'll get this filled, and then we'll um, we'll empty it over at the cell point. Okay, it's only just stopped. Um, God knows how long that took. I just stuck a podcast on and I was sat listening to it while it was. It took absolutely ages. I should just drove down. It would have been loads quicker. Um, we'll get that emptied. I might as well put these over here. So it's what are we waiting for with that, isn't it? Um, and then on there. Yep. So they're all producing again. But uh, we halfway to having one. Um, right, and all we need to start chopping down wood as well uh, because that is completely out, which is no good. Getting loads of sugar, Anna. I? I saw regret putting so much into here, you know, with that being available and not realizing that that was available. I mean, that that will probably never end me. I wouldn't have thought. Right, we're empty. We're empty. Let's have a quick look at the used machinery while we're up here. Uh, no, there's nothing... I mean, three of them were there at the end of our last episode, weren't there? There's only that. Was it a Zeta? On the end. That's new. Okie dog. 
I'm going to get down here. Uh, we'll get hooked up to whatever we're going to do next. Right, so we'll start with the... Um, we'll start turning this field around down here. Whether we're going to put the olive grove straight in or not, I haven't yet decided. Um, there's a good chance we will, but whether we'll take the other set down straight away, I might not. The, th the only thing is, it's the... It's the um, precision farming score. That's what's it's so annoying. If you look at our, if you look at our field here, like down to fifty-seven, just because that score, this is dragging it down hugely. When you look at all the others, ninety-two, sixty-six. But I think that's because of all the buildings and stuff in there. Ninety-two, eighty-nine. Um, yeah, we need to get it. We need to get it sorted. So. That is what we'll work towards. I'm hoping this isn't going to take too much because it's only just been limed beforehand and it took an absolute ton of lime the first time round. Seems to be doing alright there. Um, yes. Hopefully we'll just, if it doesn't go all the way through, which I don't think it will. We might only need one refill of it, which would be nice. I mean, we'll get this perfect. What I plan on doing is probably level with that track over there. I plan on putting another track running right the way through here to sort of split the area into two, and then all this side will be the um, the olive growths. Oh, growth, sorry, not growths. And then we'll put a track down this end as well. We are definitely going to have to fill it up more than just once, aren't we? Down to 50% already. Do you know what? It didn't seem to take that much to do it from the top. It took sort of 7% along the top of that, um, the sort of headland bit of it. And then it's took, <laughs> brought it down to half. Just going up and down one, uh, down one. Sorry. Unless it just needs more lime down this area, possibly. We haven't got the uh, the graph on the shore. But, I mean, this should be perfect after. then eventually they'll come down. Um, I don't know what I'll do, probably put another field in there. Okay, oh, so this is going to take quite a bit of line. What we'll do, I will jump, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to time lapse this bit, I'll jump, I'll get all this finished, and then we'll get on to the colour bit in a bit. Right, this field is finished. We've went all the way through. Um, you'll have seen what will probably be quite... It won't be a long time lapse, but it'll contain everything in it. We've got a couple of things that we need doing before we finish. Um, maybe not finish the video, but certainly finish the deer. These two fields need weeding, so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to hook up to our weeder, and we're going to get... Weeding. Um, I think there's a couple of fields that are going to need fertiliser on them as well. Whether we'll get that done in this video or not, I'm not sure. Although, obviously, we are going into the next day after this one, uh, next month. After this, which is a bit of a pain. Mate, switch it off first. And we'll go and get. This, the star yet.
feels really like that. I'm not normally feeling like that. I went to turn, there was just sort of no, no response on the front end. I feel alright once it's down. So that um, that field that we've just done, there's not actually a crop in it yet. Uh, it should be pretty much perfect ready to just do the olives which I was hoping to start getting in this um, in this episode but whether I'm going to get it in or not I'm not sure I've, um, this is sort of I'm recording this two days after the when we finished the time lapse I've um I've just sort of gone back to work after a few weeks leave and uh yeah I just haven't got the videos out as regularly as what I normally do um which I don't normally have an issue with I think it's just sort of first first week back and all that um still still holidays isn't it and in the UK as well, so I don't know, it's just been a little bit more difficult. So, I mean, this, what we are now, I'm now recording this on the Sunday. This might be the second day in a row where I haven't actually put a video out, which I can't remember the last time I went two days while putting a video out. If you remember this field and that field there, um, the soybeans are in it, and we there's nothing for these other than to sell. It's the only reason we've put these in. There's always crops that we need for different productions, um, but we seem to be sort of on top of them at the minute. We seem to have a lot of most things that we need. Um, other than milk and milk and eggs, obviously. So yeah, I just thought we'd get these in, and then make a decent sort of quick hit profit off them. It always struggles when it gets to here. There we go. When I looked on the map, it's showing I've missed some there. I thought I was right on the edge. There's a um, there's a mod out that I would love to have on here. It's just come out, um, fish farm. I'd love to have on, and I think it would fit really well, but, well it is mega expensive for one, it's like 350 grand or some, something along them lines. Um, but one of the requirements I've seen, you need empty pallets. Where on earth? There must be another mod, is there, where you get empty pallets. I know there's a pallet factory. But is that, is that for that, or... I'm not sure how that I'd have to have a look. Um Yeah that mod that mod seems pretty cool. I've seen the I put the actual sort of building down on it on a different map to have a look at it and yeah it looks really good. Like I said, it is mega expensive. And I don't think with us playing in hard mode as well, I don't think the returns sort of overly great. But something we might have to think about, I mean, obviously we're not looking for, sort of, in general, I know we've just spoke about for this field, but in general we don't look at quick hits, do we? Everything's sort of um, making money over the long term. So, yeah, we'll possibly, possibly look at that in the future. I think it's a pretty cool mod anyway. I 
I also seen that um, Ashingham Park was being tested only for PC though. Although it is coming out on both. Um, so, with any luck. Oh. I knew that was going to be close, but I didn't think I'd hit it. Um, with any luck, that'll be out shortly, and we can get the roleplay series going again. I'm really looking forward to that. I mean, I haven't done it. When did I? I haven't done the roleplay series since, like, I don't know, probably back end of October. Might have been the last time I posted one. Um, with this coming out in November. I might have posted some just as they were sort of overlapping. I think there were some videos on Jack Pine that I did that with. But yeah, hopefully, if the roleplay comes back, um, we might start with sort of one a week, just to sort of, just to um, get back into it. I think at one point on 19, I was on a week. I was doing it on a weekend, wasn't I? It was role play coming out over a weekend? It's been nearly a year now. I can't remember. Right, I'll get this field finished. I might even go into that one. Um, I'll get the weeding done and then we'll see what time we've got left and we might start putting the olives up um, in the field that we've just been working in. So, on a plan. We're coming to the end of the weeding. Uh, it does took some time to be honest. There will be sort of odd little bits that haven't been done but I think in the main yeah in the main it's done. Let's get, um, I might as well just drive straight over. In fact, no, because I wanted to quickly cut where the, um, where the tracks are going to be for our new olive grove, so I just need to get the, the McCormick and then get that hooked up. Just thought, what day is it? Day twenty-first today, isn't it? Sunday the twenty-first. Am I right? Yeah, got new deal DLC coming out in three days. I'm two days, sorry. Um, I, and I haven't got it in front of us. I know it begins with a V. I can't remember what it's called. I'm not even going to try to remember. Right. We still need to fix our tractor, which I wanted to do in this, there was so much I wanted to do in this episode, but just things take longer, which is a bit of a pain, just like these daft collision angles on the camera. Right, this is going to be a really quick job, it just, it'll help, it'll help show where I can put uh, the tracks down and sort of divide up the, the field, that's all I've got this for, it shouldn't take long at all. And then we'll put a new load of olives in, and I think we'll probably call it a day after that. Right, let's get that front one unfolded. And switched on, and now the rears. I don't know what I'm going to put in this top section yet. I haven't decided. I'll get that done in the next episode. Um, oh, lowered. There we go. So 
following the track will probably be not much more than this. Just about the, paint, the tree there. I keep forgetting about that. We could use that because we've run. I say we've run out of wood. We've got absolutely tons of wood. But um, we just haven't got any cut. Which is a pain because we've got all our planks as well that I wanted to sell in this episode and it's just that's not going to happen, that's going to have to wait until next episode. So hopefully the price won't drop too much. Right, let's... I don't want to be right up against it. Seems to be working all right. Brilliant. Um, get that turned off. Get the front one turned off, and then we'll go and do this bit down the bottom as well. Like I said, it's there just to show where our track's going to go. It's a lot easier to be able to see than it is trying to put it through where the grass is fully grown. And then I think, like I've said, I think I'm going to have pretty much one there as well, running through. We'll just say how far the groves are. The, um, I love score. Because I think on the last time, am I right in saying it was about, each stretch was about 2,200, wasn't it? Yeah, you can see the track now. The one that's already actually in shows up now, so we'll just be able to go over the top of that one. And let's look from here. There we go. Just so I can see where the boundary is. Probably had quite a bit more room on the side, to be fair. Right. We'll get spun around there. And that will do just nicely. Let's get that folded and put away in the same there and olives okay, okay. right now the only thing I'm worried about on here is that the field isn't sort of straight in a sense you can see by the lines that sort of if I was going to put one straight, it would only come up to about here. Um, I might put one in the middle. Yeah, if I put one there, and then I'll be able to go from that one. I wonder if it was 1,200. And not 2,200 it must have been. Right. That's grapes. Oh my god! Brilliant. There's 1200 quid down the drain. It's fantastic. I don't even want that. Let's, um. How do I get to demolish now? I can't even remember. It changed, didn't it? Um, how do I do this? I know we had this on Westbridge Hills and I haven't demolished anything for ages. Two seconds, I'm going to have to figure it out. I can't remember. You go into landscape and bit, and then the demolish section comes up, which is leaving this horrible generic grass area, which I don't like at all. 
That's not very good. Right, let's try again. Let's see if we can actually put in what we want to put in. It's going to be a bit more because they cost a little bit more. Not by much, but... Right, 1560. Okie duck. Now we'll put another one in. Um, just next to it. This is going to take a lot of money. I mean, we knew that to be fair. All because I didn't realise the whole precision farm thing didn't work on olives and grapes. Right. So we get the idea there. Let's get... I can finish doing that after. That's not a problem. I just don't want the video going on too long. Um, pin and dirt. If we put it here. In fact, we need plenty of room. Now drop it down. And I can't remember how to. <laughs> oh my god, you know what? A few days off, and it's an absolute nightmare. There we go. That's what I wanted. Eight. Brilliant. And. Brilliant. Let's get that. Over that. Okay, look, so this, this bit here, is going to be our new olive grove. Like I said, we might keep this for the time being, just to get a couple of more lots off, because I mean, the, the turnaround in four months, don't I? Um, this part of the field, I don't know what we'll put in. We'll decide that later. I'll carry on doing this off camera after the video's ended, and I'll probably go and pick this grass up as well. Um, there's no point in not doing that. So, we have more olives. We are going big on all. I did say we're going to go big on olives, to be fair. Um, after what we spent on the harvester, I think we needed to, didn't we? So, I think we'll leave it there. A couple of jobs to do off camera. Um, we'll be back in July. I don't know what will be ready in July. I don't know if there's be any fields ready in July or what. I know that those olives up there will need tending to. They'll definitely need to be some fertilising. We'll need doing it around the farm as well, no doubt. So we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one.